Still been working through the rain and the storm until the daylight come. I'm trying to be number one. I got a family to be home. Hold on, man. Let me get right. Let me get right. Let me get right. Yeah, we back on the screen with another video. You know what's going on. For y'all, this y'all who don't know what it is. Go ahead and check out the last videos if you want to find out what it is on this channel. For the meantime, in between time. But in this video right here today, we're about to be watching another loyalty test prank because those be going up. So I guess that's what y'all like to see. So yeah, that's what y'all like to see. That's what we're about to keep seeing. You feel me? Yeah, man, before we get into the video, go check out the last videos you ain't watched yet. If you have watched some of the videos, I mean, you ain't watched all of them. Just go watch all of them. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this one, man. Definitely up to this test because his whole vibe just changed. He started acting different. I called him a couple lies. His phone be ringing nonstop in the middle of the night. He be saying he going to work, but yeah, he come oh. back the next day. So he got a whole list there. Yep. So you guys, for today's test, we had a lot to work with. Thanks to Britt, we knew that Danny's birthday was in two days. So I thought it would be a good idea to use that to our advantage. We knew if we helped Britt come up with a gift to give Danny as an early birthday gift, it wouldn't raise any suspicion. So that's exactly how we engaged our test. We rented out an entire spa facility to see if Britt's boyfriend Danny was truly loyal to her or not. We hired our good friend Nancy to pretend to be the receptionist and work the front desk so she can give him instruction on where to go. And our friend Fancy to play the decoy. Now what Danny doesn't know, while Fancy is giving him the massage of his life, the whole team and Brit will be right down the hall in the green room, set up as our command center, watching the entire thing from a live feed we set up. Thank you guys for DMing me. I do read you guys' DMs. I just have a whole list of people that I have to get back with. I have no specific order in which I reach back out to people. So every is trying to flush right it, but it didn't go down. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to stir shit up without having enough proof. But I'm telling you, they are up to no good. Sorry for this long message. I can go all day, but this is not half of what I've had to deal with. I then responded with, damn, sorry to hear that. If you want to meet me, I'm available tonight around eight or nine, whichever works for you. She then said, that works. My boyfriend and best friend will be at work, so that's perfect. I told her I'll send her the address in about an hour and I look forward to meeting her. She said, thank you, and I said, no problem. So I went ahead and I gathered a few people from my team and I went out and I met Ty. Hello. Hello, yeah, where you at? I'm at the location, but it's a gate. I can't get in the gate. Nah, it's not a gate. I'm about to come you out to the front, out? yeah. Okay. Just to give you a heads up, we're already filming. Okay. <laughs> what you driving? I'm not in the car anymore, I started walking. Today's video was different from any other loyalty test I've done so far, and here's why. Usually when people reach out to me, they are at least 50% unsure if their significant other is loyal to them or not. But for Ty, that's not the case at all. She says she know her boyfriend is cheating on her with her best friend, 100%. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. So this is my team or whatever. Nice to meet you. So, um, we can get straight to it. So just give me kind of a rundown of what's going on. I know that he's cheating on me, honestly. Um, I know that they're sleeping together. And she been over friendly with me too. Like, I just feel like she been real hee hee. Oh, you about to go? Like, you know, trying to make sure that I'm finna leave. So I just, I know they're cheating. I just need to catch them. Ever since COVID hit, she lost her 24 hour fitness job. So we're all just living together, splitting the bills type of thing. Like we're roommates. He basically helped her find a job at his job. So now they kind of work the same schedule. So now when I'm home, I'm by myself. When I leave, they're together. It's just like, I don't know. So now it's like they spending more time together with yeah, each other than, exactly. how do you cope with that? I don't, that's why I'm here. If he do pass the test, can I use the footage? For sure. Million dollar question. I think because so. as of lately, nobody wants me to use the footage if they pass. Oh, Obviously, if you feel you don't want me to use the footage, but I just have to ask that question. No, like you can use it. I'm, I don't, I don't know. We're gonna see. I'll, I'll, you can use it for sure. Okay. So for today's video, there's no need for a decoy because Ty was 100% sure that her best friend and her boyfriend were sleeping together. The only thing is she had no proof. So that's where I came in. Because Zai and Mark's schedules was pretty much aligned because he helped her get on at his job and they worked identical shifts. All that needed to be done was us to go in while they were at work and Ty was at home by herself so we can go ahead and set the cameras up. These are not the best quality cameras. I had to go find the smallest cameras because they have to sit in their positions for a very long time without either Zai or Mark seeing them. It's Tuesday, you already know what that means. Taco Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. yeah I always got you. I always got you. So, tacos it is? Yeah, you want to the stove with me? And? 
you want to. What they don't know is Ty's going to the car where she's able to watch everything that goes on in the house, and both of them are being put to the test. Some chips. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't eat any. I don't know what you're doing. What you trying to do to that? Bro, she already sitting on top of him. Bro, you lying. I swear to God. Hey, yo, she ain't even leave all the way yet, though. She, they, she just walked outside. Can I let her? Bro, she, she just left out the door. You might want to hurry up and put these on. So I don't know what's there. Hurry up. Put Look. Bro, these is Already? Get the fuck out. This motherfucker on her lap. Oh, hell no. Just save me. Just save me. They about to go to the room. Hell no, nah, my nigga not finna be going to the room. We can, like, we can go. Come we, on. We, we, we finna to. go, cause they just pissed me off. Bruh. Is it me or did they not waste no time this at all? This ain't even last five minutes. I tried to upload this clip several times. I keep getting yellow mark for it. I know it's this clip. It's very inappropriate. But basically, Ty went in there and got on her boyfriend ass, as she should. But when she calmed down, I was able to talk to her. Do you mind if I use the footage? You want to film my fucking... This This shit hurting me right now. You want to put this shit out? I mean... <laughs> Can I use the footage? For sure. Can I use the footage? For sure. You That's... said you was going to help me figure out what the fuck going on. You didn't say you gonna, that's embarrassing. Now, that's my best friend. I get that that's embarrassing, but we talked about that before. So that's why I'm just reiterating and asking you to make sure, uh, do you want me to post it? <laughs> that's crazy as hell. I'm, I'm done with all of this shit. You're weird, they're weird, everybody's I'm, weird. You wanna, you wanna film this shit? Can I use the footage? Sure. Wait, let's not this do that. No, wait, wait. Let's not do that. You reached out to me. You asked me to do all this. I took my time out and I did everything. I did. I did everything that you wanted me to do. You feel what I'm saying? So like, I don't understand. Don't don't blame me for what happened. I just helped you. Cause without me, you wouldn't have known that this was going on. Okay, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think that shit was gonna happen. So I don't know. Yeah. So because you didn't mean. think that was gonna happen, you can't turn the finger and point it at me. I was just helping. Now, I was asking you out of, out, of, out of respect, do you want me to post it? I talked to you earlier on, you know what I'm saying? You can use it. I'm, I don't, I don't know. We're going to see. I don't, I, you can use it for sure. I didn't think it would give this. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Do you understand that? Yeah. This is very 
embarrassing. Would you post that for you if this happened to you? No. This is exactly why I sit there and I ask them, if he passed or if he fell, do you want me to use the footage? Now listen, you guys, I always respect people's wishes. But if you tell me something in the beginning, don't tell me something different in the end. Because that's where I just, I don't like that. We're going to communicate that. If she would have told me, like, come on, bro. Being in the situation, that shit feel way different. Like, I get what you're saying. You're trying to post it. But that shit really hurts. Nah, most, like, I understand. I know you're emotional right now, but I don't want you to say anything out of emotions and basically, like, just think about it. Because we had this conversation before we actually did the test, and you was agreeing to put it out. I just asked you again because you was upset, so. I'm, you're right. But I'm I, sorry, I, whatever you want to do, mean, whatever you want to do is, 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 is up to you. That's fine. You want to put out that the motherfuckers is, is some dirty ass? Go, go for it at this point. I don't even care anymore, I guess. So where do you go from here? From here, the motherfuckers getting the fuck up out of my house. I'm looking for roommates at this point. That's crazy, man. I see why these videos be going up a little bit. That's crazy. I ain't even got no words after this one. All I gotta say is Stay tuned for the next one and check out the last one, man.